Welcome to another episode of Bar Downloadable. I'm Marissa Roberto, and we're starting with hockey this week, okay? The NHL 21 trailer just dropped, and it features a whole lot of Obi. You know, they're putting respect on his name, and I like it. For you Hut fanatics, you can buy the Great 8 edition of the game to get your hands on some special packs and other perks. Otherwise, from checking out the gameplay, it looks like the lacrosse goal is coming to Chell. Let us know in the comments, did this trailer get you hype for NHL 21? Or do you still have gripes? We previously mentioned the rise of Fall Guys, the new Battle Royale game that took over Twitch. One of the biggest stories from that was Tim the Tatman's struggle to get his first ever win. After getting made fun of endlessly by the Fall Guys Twitter account, Tim finally got that elusive first dub. One left. This is you, one on one, Tim. Tim, you got this! Nice and easy. Yeah. Let's go! You said it couldn't be done! There's the king! Put my crown on! With over 300,000 viewers watching on Twitch, Tim got the monkey off his back. Getting that win may not seem like a big deal, but honestly, it was a moment that brought a lot of gamers together. As for Fall Guys, the game continues to explode, and that includes a plan to go mobile. Soon there will be no excuse not to give Fall Guys a try. What a weekend it was for the Call of Duty League. Playoffs got underway and only 4 out of the 12 teams competing would qualify for Championship Weekend. The Toronto Ultra put together a very strong run and were one match win away from making the top 4. Unfortunately, the loss to London put an end to a very impressive season for the Ultra. Keep your head up, boys. You made us all proud. The best matchup of the weekend was 11 seed Optic LA versus the Chicago Huntsman. With the spot in champs on the line, the two teams put together one of the best matches in Call of Duty esports history. It's madness inside of the B house. Scuff just trying to finesse, trying to get the kill. Envoy gonna peek from outside. The challenge is gonna come in. Scuff has gotta reload. No one can finish the kill. Arceus picks up two. It's all gonna be on TJ now. 1v1, and will Huntsman win it? Envoy gets the kill in the 1v1, and they move on, it's madness! With that, Chicago joined London, Atlanta, and Dallas in the Final Four, which takes place this weekend. Call of Duty also drops some massive news. The next game for their franchise, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Another big gaming announcement came this past weekend out of the DC fandom. But you're gonna have to wait a while for this one. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is set to come out on the next-gen consoles, but currently has a release date of 2022. Of the superhero video games, the Arkham series is one of the most popular, and this upcoming game will apparently live in the same universe. And in case the title didn't make it clear, you're going to be playing the bad guy this time around. Let's wrap today's episode up with a little love for the Rainbow Six community. At UFC Vegas 7, Mike Rodriguez got a huge knockout win. I was very excited to get home and game. <laughs> All right, slow yeah. Mike Rodriguez. Congrats. Enjoy it with the team, and we look forward to the next show. Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah, man, I'm about to go back and play some Siege, man. It's been a minute. <laughs> Matt even dropped a line about drones gathering intel, so yeah, he's very into the game. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week with more gaming news. Yeah, that's right. TSN does video games, okay? Just accept it. I will see you in the comments.